Yo guys, what's going on? What's another YouTube video? So this is my thumbnail yesterday and we did smash it perfectly. You guys can check that out yourself if you, want to, if you want to validate it. We smashed it, okay? This is why I say don't go for too many cheeky trades. You don't want to put the take profit too low, 39k or whatnot. You don't want to do that. Yeah, um, Like I said to you guys, we'll probably just go below 40k and then we'll pump back up. Like it's a very psychological point. Like I told you guys, liquidate all the short trades, yeah? And we literally went to 39.7. Um, you can see that was a good trade, it's about 1.25%. So, brilliant trade, I'm happy with that. Now, let's get into the analysis, okay? So, as you can see right here, um, we've literally just about got up, got above our support. You can see right here, our, that resistance level that I drew, we smashed it perfectly. Look at that. Who does that? No one, okay? So, I just smash that like button for me, guys, right there. <laughs> but you can see right here that we currently are forming this rising little, f like, I want to say a little wedge pattern because it's not exactly typically a, f um, a rising flag, because it does like an incline like this. So I do think that if we, um, we could actually break out of this, go into the upside, okay? Which isn't very typical, usually would break down to the downside. Um, but I'm saying that because the EMAs have crossed, and we got this support right below us, this um, rectangle support. So if things are a bit tricky right now. However, typically this would break out to the downside. Target will obviously be right here, about $40,800. Okay, we are currently trending in this in this support zone for quite a while. So right now, I'm not sure what what we could actually potentially be looking for to see for a valid breakout or breakdown. Okay, that's why it's important we look at the market right now and see what's most likely to happen. Is it a short trade or is it a long trade? Now let's go into the four hourly. We'll come back to the fifteen minute time frame to see if there's anything special to be looking at in the shorter, um, you know, the shorter scheme of things. Um, you can see right here we had a massive rejection to the downside, a massive rejection to the downside, okay, in the four hourly. So it shows buyers are in the market for $40,000 level. So are we going to break that? I'm not too sure. If we do break it, we're definitely coming lower to about 30K and even lower than 30K. Um, like I can guarantee that myself. But that, that's my opinion, that's what I think. We are currently have broken above the 15 four hourly. Okay, that's nothing too bullish right now because we have broken above it before right here and it was a bit of a fake out and we dumped. But it, could it be different right now? Sure, of course it can. Why? Because we actually hit the support level. A lot of buyers got in the market. We got a lot of momentum pushing upwards. So we actually could see a valid breakout now. We could touch a support zone here and we could, we could pump to 44k. In my mind, what I think is going to happen is the same with Litecoin, okay? So if I go to the daily time frame, what I think is going to happen, guys, so look look where we currently are, okay? We're currently here. Um, if, we, if we zoom out and see what happened to the past area, yeah? We had this, look, I'll show you what I think is going to happen, okay? Head, and then we came up, down, came back up, dipped, and then we pumped. That's what I think we're looking for, okay? I think what's going to happen is this part, section right here, okay? Right here. So what I think we're looking for, guys, is... From where we currently are, test that neckline like we did here. I think we're going to come back up, come back down, and then blast off. Okay, that's what I'm looking for, guys. That's 100% what I'm looking for right now. Okay, I'm looking for that lower test. I'm going to be getting in at about $38,000 for my buy. Um, if we see, obviously, the big rejection like we did here. Let me show you guys what we saw here. That massive engulfing candle, okay? We dipped below the neckline right here and then we had i just want to get rid of this circle can i get rid of this circle and then we had this massive engulfing candle which literally took out one two three four five days of price um movement so that was a massive engulfing candle and then obviously we didn't stop pumping from there okay that's what i think is going to happen um, bitcoin moves very very quickly now so you got to be careful you got to be on your toes that's what i'm here showing you and you can see right here like look at this doji candle I said to you guys, if this is a doji candle, we're in full price movement going upwards. And look at this doji candle. It is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. Bang. Pump, 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 pump. Yeah. So we got to see what happens, guys. Um, I know the Fed's releasing um, a statement on the 18th of January. So that could either pump the stock market or dump the stock market. Whatever it does will be pretty devastating for um, Bitcoin and the stock market. If it's beneficial, then the stock market will be, will be seeing a pump. And you can see right here, that massive trend line that we've been drawing, it has actually been broken, okay? It has been broken before, and we had a fake out, and we had a fake out. So could it come down again? Of course it can. You don't want to rule out anything at the moment. We want to see a nice clear retest again, 
and then a bigger pump, we want to see us clear this previous high at 42,700 for us to actually get a clear breakout, okay? Um, I know you guys might don't want to miss the boat. If you don't want to miss the boat, then get in at a really aggressive entry. Wait for us to get a little, a little dump. Um, test this green EMA again. Put your stop loss below the um, 50 and ride it up to the previous high right here, okay? If we get to this high and we and you, you guys are still confident, then move your stop loss to your entry point or move your stop loss in a bit of profit um, and then ride it up. It's up to you guys. That's how I trade. That's how you guys should trade as well. Um, make sure everything is risk-free as possible. But I want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching. I know it's a short video, but it's all you guys need, okay? I don't want to make things too complicated for you guys. I just want to show you guys the support, the resistance zones, the prices to look forward to, and what to actually potentially, to potentially see. So right now, I showed you guys what I'm looking for. Uh, a push upwards, a push downwards, and then a pump for Bitcoin, okay? So that's what I'm looking for, guys. So we could get long trades happening right now. A big thank you to you guys tuning into the video. Um, I really do appreciate you all. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.